Welcome to the Power System Lab. <clears throat> Today we are uh, going to uh, demonstrate this percentage bias differential neutrinos. Actually, in Power System we have we uh, encounter the feeders, we have transformers, we have generators, and they are the very costly equipments when we talked of uh, these uh, instruments in the Power System, and it becomes a very crucial to protect these instruments against any kind of fold. So the various uh, protection schemes are available and various and you can say that various protection schemes are used in power system to protect these uh, instruments whether we have a transformer, we have a power transformer, we have an alternator, we have a feeder or a transmission line. So various types of protections are used and in, pro and in the protection unit we <laughs> use circuit breakers, we use current transformers and we use the relay. Right, a relay uh, forms a very basic building block uh, when we talk about pro uh, talk of a, of a protection system. So we have different types of relays in the power system. We can have an electromechanical uh, relay. We can have a numerical distance. In this modern era, we are using this. Uh, we were mostly using mostly using this numerical differential relay, a numerical uh, transformer differential relay, which we have here uh, in this lab. Today we are going to demonstrate this relay. Uh, we are going to show the basic operating characteristics of this relay. Right? We will be plotting a graph between the restraining current and this differential current. Actually, why we shift from electromechanical relay system to this numerical differential relay? The reason behind this is that in really a numerical relay is a computer based system with a software based protection. I will having software based uh, protection algorithms for detection of electric faults. Such relays are also termed as microprocessor type protection relays. Uh, they are actually the functional replacement of electromechanical uh, protective relays and may include many protection functions in one unit. So we first introducing the various components of this relay, you can see we have this uh, three phase direct online starter panel, right, which will be feeding input to this three phase multifunction energy uh, meter, which will be displaying voltage, power, energy, a power filter, whatever you want to measure. Then after that we have these, the CT panel, actually we have three CTs, right, we can connect the CTs in star or uh, delta depending upon the requirement, right, accordingly the, <coughs> as the transform in which they are connected, right, we have a differential relay panel, numerical differential relay panel, actually these are the contacts, this is a three phase numerical differential relay and from this micro based uh, this numerical transformer relay you can change the settings i will be showing during the practical this is also also another three phase multifunctional energy generator after that i am having this over current measurement lapse time counter panel relay actually what it does simultaneously it also gives the measurement of current simultaneous me measurement of time the time during which the current flows in the circuit you can say i have the voltage and current inductor panel this also over current measurement lapse uh, counter relay this another voltage and current inductor uh, panel and this from here we will be connecting the single phase main supply to the instruments. Uh, the various basic features of this percentage bias differential trainer which we have right now in the lab, right, it has the, its features are actually it's a biased current differential gives bias differential, uh, current differential protection, it has a fast differential he said, it has dual slope characteristics, it has inbuilt current transformer ratio at CT ratio correction factor, it has adjustable second harmonic restraint, it has adjustable fifth harmonic blocking, it has inbuilt vector group compensation, two groups of settings, it has a history of five latest faults. Right? Uh, actually the JND0, a two winding numerical transformer differential relay, this relay is used for the protection of transformer against any hazardous faults. Right? So if we talk of the principle of operation, actually the it provides a differential protection of a uh, uh, power transformer. This relay actually measures the line current, uh, measures the line current in, in each in, in each phase. In each phase, uh, after uh, calculating the current in each phase, this relay calculates the differential current ID and the restraining current. So first of uh, all, I have to make the connections, right? Since uh, I have to plot the basic uh, characteristics of this relay, for that I will require this current injector one and two and this uh, current measurement 1 and 2, this panel, so I will be using this panel and this panel as the current injector and this panel and this panel as the current measurement, in, uh, measurement. that means 1 will measure current to I1 
another will be major current I2 and and <coughs> the current will be injected by using these two injectors. I'll be using one of this one phase of this differential relay. Since this is the three phase differential relay, I will be using one phase of this differential relay to load the characteristics. I'll be using one current transformer. Right, so let's start to make the panel. First of all, I have uh, the connections are very simple. You can directly give the connections. Just, just like you can see that I have energized this panel by this single phase uh, power supply, phase and neutral. Also, I have energized this uh, uh, inductor by phase and, and this uh, neutral. So, uh, similarly, and now I have to connect these uh, uh, injectors to this uh, uh, measurement, uh, over current measurement and less per time counter panel. Right, so this these connections uh, you can made by using this table. We have a manual available there. So let's uh, make these connections using this scheme. Let's start. So let's start to frame the connections as per this wiring schedule. I wiring schedule diagram as given is. You can see the first connection is simple EMT 16A. EMT 16A actually this is the EMT 16 16A panel. See, you can see the connection from EMT 16A. It's terminal 11. That's actually the new phase point goes to EMT 23A actually this EMT 23A right so actually what he is doing he is energizing this phase and neutral to this uh, panel so let's uh, energize this panel this terminal 11 will go here similarly the another under connection you can see the neutral point will go here so what we have done we have actually energized this uh, injector by a single phase power supply Similarly, you can inject EMT1612. It's EMT1612. It's terminal that's in the neutral. Similarly, the, you can see the third column is EMT23A16. The terminal 6 of this EMT23. We can see that we have made all the connections that we have done. We have actually connected supply to these two current injectors and connected these two current injectors to ammeters from Head to head and from head to head also we have energized these two uh, instruments and we have connected one phase of this differential relay right and its strip contacts are connected here you can see it here and it here right so now what we'll be doing we'll be actually we'll be focusing on this numerical differential relay what is the beauty of this relay is first we want to go for edit option just like in simulation we really this actually the simulation of hardware Right, uh, we can go for edit option. After it will it will demand for the password. I'll be giving the password after entering password. So it has shown accepted. So we'll go so let's say group two. And you can see in this group two we can have numerous options. So depending upon our our requirement, the the pickup value, the restraining value, the uh, CTR ratio, the current transformer uh, ratio 1 and 2, the slope which we will keep, we will accordingly set. You can, you can see that we have right now the set the value of pickup to 0 0.2 per unit. It is not the actual value, it is in per unit. And after that, we will be uh, doing the entry option. You can see the slope DF1 is right now 20%. Right? We can change, so say we can kept it uh, for set this slope DF T2 100%. Right, doing enter option, and we have this uh, break KP, it's uh, 1.0 per unit kept as such, and then we have this differential HZ, it is 0 per unit. You can see the group 2 in which actually we have 10 parameters which we can change according to our, our own choice. We have the secular field parameters which keep 5 by 10, so kept it as 0 per unit. So we have this uh, current transformer ratio W1, CT1, it's 1 per unit, kept it as, as such. The CTR W2 is 1.732, so let's change this to 1.5 per unit. Right after that, this inrush is 50%, kept it as such. Uh, this overexcitation is 50%, kept it as such. Right, so we have uh, this vector group say choose the dd0 vector group so we have inserted all the parameters right so we'll reset so i have actually inserted all the pa basic parameters which i have kept uh, according my own choice right and i have chosen the pickup value of 0 0.20 for you now to start the practical what i will do i will <coughs> start this uh, 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 come uh, or current uh, measurement and last time counters instantly. I will 
so by starting this push button now what i will do i will simultaneously inject the currents say this major unit will measure current i1 this will measure current i2 right so what i will do i will increase you can see you can see current on both the parameters and we have to increase it like uh, both are increasing so we'll cap say initially both at one amps we'll cap both at one ampere almost you can see the current injected by this unit is around one amps in the difference relay and the current injected by this relay is almost one amp almost one amp. okay so what i will do either i will change this current or this current so that there uh, i will create a difference of the two currents when the that, that difference of the current will come to be equal to the pickup value kp in terms of power in 0 0.204 the reliable trip and indication will be here so what i will do i will increase this current say so you can see increasing it has reached 2.45 you can see at 2.77 amps the difference really has got tripped and you can see it has the advantage you can see it has shown that i is greater than the differential trip that means the difference the difference of the two currents right now is around 1.8 amps which is in per unit equal to 0 0.2 per unit that means it's very fast right you can see it's shown the current it's showing the date at which the differential relay got tripped so uh, you can uh, we can actually to change the settings as I have shown you we can change the slope df1 you can change slope df2 and then we can plot the characteristics that's we can plot a graph between the differential currents that's the differential current with the difference of the two currents id1 minus id2 and the restraining current which is actually the sum of the two currents and then i can plot the graph and i can show you the graph will come out look like like this so the graph will be and so we can uh, so this dual slope characteristics graph, right? The differential uh, current, which is uh, nothing but the difference of the two currents, and the restraining current is nothing but the sum of the two currents. Taking at multiple readings, we can get the graph, and we can get the slope like this. So this is slope DF1, this is slope DF2, and this region is actually the operating region, and this region is the restraining region. Now, accordingly, we can uh, set the characteristics uh, of this differential relay. So this was all about how we can plot the basic characteristics of this differential relay for uh, resetting we can, we can use this reset option right we can go to reset option you can see that the fault has cleared now I can show you once again we can go to the parameters like we can go menu and we can go to edit options after that it will demand for the password after accept a giving password you can similarly change the characteristic now you can see that the pickup initially was 0 0.24 and you can change to 0 point say 4 unit per unit accordingly you can change the slope 40 percent which was initially set then uh, taking the readings and then plotting the graph and the graph will be like this thank you so much.